In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create and share a Canva template link in order to sell it as a digital product on Etsy. The first thing I'll do is show you exactly how to turn any Canva design into an editable template. Then I'll show you how to retrieve that template link. And finally, I'll show you exactly how to take that template link and actually sell it as a digital product on Etsy or whatever selling platform you're using. As always, I'll be dropping the video timestamps in the description below. So if you don't need the full tutorial and you wanna jump ahead and get one of your specific questions answered, check the description box below, that way you can skip ahead to the part you need. Otherwise, let's go ahead and jump right over to Canva, that way we can get started with step one where I'm showing you how to turn any Canva design into a ready to edit template. Okay, so as you can see, we're currently on my Canva homepage. And the first thing that we need to do is just select whichever design we want to actually turn into a template. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this first design right here. So this particular design is actually an optimized Etsy listing cover that works for any digital product. And if you wanna use this design yourself, I'm actually gonna drop the template link for free in this video description. So that's there just in case you want it. But first I'll actually show you how I'm creating the template link so I can actually share it with you in the first place. Now it's very, very important that if you're sharing a digital product that you share your design as a template link and that you don't just share the link to your design. If you share the link to your design, then any customer who buys your products is going to be able to actually make changes to your version of the design. And anyone else who purchases your product is going to see the most recent updates that any other customer who purchased that product has made, which means that they're not going to get the design that you're actually advertising in your listing. So it is very, very important that you share a template link and not just an editable link to your design. So I'm going to show you the difference. The first step to sharing this template link is to go up here to the top right hand corner and select share and you do not want to click copy link. If you do that, you will share the link to your original design, which means that all the hard work you put into designing your template is going to go instantly down the drain. Instead, we wanna select these three buttons here that say see all, and then right here in the top right-hand corner, we want to select template link. And now we'll click this button here that says create template link. And then we wanna select this copy button here. Okay, so it says the link has been copied to our clipboard. And in order to tell for sure whether or not this works, we can select the share button again here. And then here under template link, we can see that it's live. So now because this design has a template link, anytime we share this link with anyone, they will receive a copy of the design that looks just like this, and they'll be able to make their own edits to their own version of the design. So you don't have to worry about anyone making changes to your own design or to the designs of your other customers. Okay, so now that we have our template link, how do we actually sell that link on Etsy? As you know, if you're an Etsy digital product seller, Etsy requires that you upload files as your digital product format and they don't accept links as digital products. So how do we turn this template link into a digital file that our Etsy customers can actually download with their purchase? Well, the process is super simple and I'm gonna show you exactly exactly how to do it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to our Canva homepage and then we're gonna hover over our original design. I'm gonna select these three buttons here and I'm gonna select make a copy. So now that we have this copy made, I'm going to select it and I'm gonna make just a few changes to this design. So I'm gonna delete this arrow here. Okay, so now that we have that arrow deleted, I'm actually going to delete this customize now text as well. And I'm gonna replace it with a button. Okay, so now that we have this button, I'm going to add some text to this button that says click here to customize. So I'll select this text and duplicate it and change it to say click here to customize. All right, so I ended up moving some things around just to make it look right and make it fit better. But now I have this big, very obvious button here and I'm gonna show you how to embed your template link into this button. So the first thing that we're going to do is select the button and then we'll select these three dots here. And then right here where it says link, we will select a link and we already copied our template link, but I can show you one more time how to do that just in case. So we'll go over to Canva. We'll select our template. We'll select share. We will select template link and then we'll select copy. And now we can go back over to our current design, select the three dots, hit link and then paste our link. Now, I like to embed the template link into both the button and the text. So I'll select this text here as well. I'll select the three dots again, hit link, 
and then paste the same template link. And now when you select your button and you click this link here, you can see a version of what your customer is going to see. Except here, we have two options, right? We can either edit the template or we can use a template for a new design. When your customer sees it, they're only going to see one purple button and that button will say use template for a new design. So you don't have to worry about them making any changes to your original design. Now we're not done yet, okay? This next part is extremely important and if you don't do it right, your customers won't actually be able to click that button and be redirected to your template. So first, really quickly, I'm just going to rename this design. All right, and now that we have this design saved, I'm going to select share and I'm going to select download. Now Canva is suggesting that we download this as a PNG, but if we download this as a PNG, our customers will not actually be able to click the button that we created for them to access their template because a PNG is just an image file. So we actually want to save this design as a PDF. That's what makes it possible for our customers to actually click any buttons that we put on our design. So I'll click this drop down menu here and I'll select PDF standard and then I'll select download. Okay, so now that we have our PDF downloaded, we can go ahead and test it out. So I have my PDF here, so I can click this button, open in Safari, and it takes me right to my template. So now that we know for sure that our template link in our PDF file is working, we can go ahead and upload that to Etsy. So very quickly, I'll show you exactly how to do that. All right, so now we're behind the scenes of my Etsy shop manager, and I'm gonna show you how to take this PDF that we just created and turn it into a sellable digital product listing on Etsy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just put a little placeholder title, and I'm gonna skip these other details here and actually go down to the details section and select add core details. This is where you'll be able to tell Etsy that you're selling a digital product. Okay, so I've selected add core details and now I'm going to select digital files and I'll just answer these questions that Etsy is asking me about my product. So I'll say that I created it, it's a finished product, it was made recently, this was created by me. And since I don't have any production partners and this was made totally by me, I'll skip this part here and select apply. All right, so now that I've selected apply, you can see that when I scroll back up here, we have the option to add a digital file. And as you can see, it says buyers can download these files as soon as they complete their purchase. Now this is a super important detail and this is what makes selling digital products truly passive. So buyers will be able to download these files as soon as their payment is complete, which means that you don't have to do any extra work. You don't have to send these files to the buyers. All you have to do is upload this product once and your Etsy customers will continue to be able to purchase this product for as long as they want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this file that I just downloaded and drop it here. And as you can see, this digital file is now uploaded. So now the only thing that's left for me to do is add in these other details like my title, my description, my listing covers, and my keywords, and also to select the price and the quantity of my item. And once I have all that filled out, I'll be able to select publish, and then I'll officially have my template link for sale on Etsy. Now, if you wanna save yourself some time with creating this clickable template PDF, I'm actually gonna create a template link for the template link PDF that we just created together. Together, and I'll drop it in the video description below. It's completely free. I'm just dropping it there for those of you who like the style of the design that I made and want to save some time on that step of your Etsy listing creation. But if you want the step-by-step -step tutorial for creating high quality listing covers yourself, and if you want to guarantee that the Etsy algorithm is actually going to push your listing to the first page of the Etsy search results and make sure that the highest number of buyers actually see your products, you can stick around for the two step-by-step -step tutorials that will pop up at the end of this video. One is a step-by-step -step Etsy listing cover tutorial where I show you exactly how to make high quality listing covers to maximize your conversion rate on Etsy. And the other is a step-by-step -step Etsy SEO tutorial where I explain how to find high ranking keywords on Etsy and how to integrate them into your listing titles and descriptions. This is an absolutely crucial skill to know as a new Etsy seller to make sure that your audience can actually find your products. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.